Mr. Wages says, my balance is $0. However, the hospital says your balance is negative $102.32. Determine who is right. If any mistakes were made in Mr. Wages' table, describe where they are and why they're mistakes. So if he charged to his account, that means we're going to subtract because that's what he owes, $131.06. He paid a portion of his bill, and that would make sense that it would get smaller to 8606. That's correct. Further, if he paid $45 more to his bill, then of course he should be getting more towards zero if he's paying off his bill. But then I look at $25.31 that he charged. Here it looks at negative 15.75 that he took negative 41 and added 25.31 instead of subtracted. So here Mr. Wages should have subtracted, not added. So his new balance, not 15.75, should be at negative 4106 subtract 2531. So he should be at negative $66.37. Further then, that would then affect everything from here on out. So the next step then would be to take negative $66.31 subtract since he charged $35.75 so now he owes $102.12. Again, he charged some more, so we need to keep subtracting, keep getting more negative for a new balance of negative $127.97. He also charged another time, um, $176.09, which now he is in the hole, negative $304.06, but he did pay $201.74, so we get to add that. So his balance, sure enough, is really negative $102.32. Show two times three on a number line. How would you draw the opposite of two times three on a number line? So two times three is two copies of three. And then the opposite would be subtracting two copies of three. So let's use a number line to show two times eight and two times negative eight. So we want two times the length of eight in the positive direction. So we start at zero, there's eight, and we go twice to get to 16. Here we want two times the length of eight in the negative direction. So we go two copies of eight, in the negative direction for negative 16. Negative two times eight, the opposite of two times the length of eight in the positive direction. So we originally would think that this would be two copies of eight in the positive direction, but then that negative part comes and that means we have to swing it to the opposite direction. So negative 16. Further, negative 2 times negative 8, the opposite of 2 times the length of 8 in the negative direction. So we originally think that it is 2 times the length of 8, but we want it in the opposite of the negative direction, giving us positive 16. So let's follow up with chips. All right, so two times eight means that I want to add in two copies of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I want to add in two of these. Perfect, for positive 16. That one's not the issue. All right, so then I want to add in two copies of negative 8. Well, here's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's one copy. So we added in to our circle here uh, two copies of negative 8, which would be negative 16. The next one, negative two times eight. 
So I want to remove twice. I want to remove twice. Think about this. Remove twice um, or remove two times eight copies, positive eight. So remove twice a copy of eight, copies of eight. Well, if I start with nothing here, there's nothing I can remove. So what I need to do is add in some zeros. So here is so that I can remove two copies of eight. So there's one copy of eight. I know it feels like we're probably adding in way more than we need to, but we're truly not. So we need to add in some zeros. Okay, a couple more. All right, so we need to remove two copies of eight. So, and they're positive eight. So if I remove one, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's one copy. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two copies. I am then left with negative 16. Remove twice or remove two copies of negative eight. So we don't, if we started with nothing in our pieces, in our hole here, we what we need to do is add in the zeros again. Enough so that we can remove twice or remove two copies of negative eight. So we're going to actually remove the opposite of what we did on the previous previous set. So remove two copies of negative eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's one copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're left with positive 16. We have discovered these patterns when multiplying with negative numbers. A negative times a negative gives us a positive result. A negative times a positive or a positive times a negative give a negative result. Each number line shows the final representation of a multiplication equation. Write two po possible multiplication equations that are represented by each number line. Pause the video and see if you can't come up with a couple. The first one here I see I have four copies of two. And then we also could do, since we know a negative times a negative is a positive, we could remove four groups of negative two. And we know that that would bring us to a positive. The second line here we have two groups of negative five or remove two groups of positive five, which would give us also negative 10. Use a number line to show the following division problems. We already know how to represent multiplication with negative numbers on the number line. So let's use our inverse properties to rewrite each division as a multiplication. So 8 divided by 4 is the same as asking 8 equals what times 4? So how many times a length of 4 in the positive direction to get to 8? Well, that would be 2 of them, positive 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 4 is the same as negative 8 equals how many times a length of 4 in the negative direction to get negative 8. So we need to go in the direct negative direction 2 times so that we get negative 8. 
negative 8 divided by 4. Negative 8 equals what, how many times a length of 4 in the positive direction to get negative 8? Again, we have to think, well, we would go in the positive direction this way. However, we need to get to negative 8, so we have to think the inverse or the reverse of that, so negative 2. And negative 8 equals how many times a length of 4 in the negative direction to get positive or to get to 8. And this should be this way. So we would originally think that if we we're going 4 in the negative direction to get to 8, but we need to be in the positive for a final answer of positive 8, so we would be neg or positive 2. Show using positive and negative chips. All right, we're starting with 8 divided by 4. So we want to know how many groups of 4 that we can make. So how many groups of positive 4 can we make? Well, we can make two groups. Let's do then the same is true if we have negative 8 divided by negative 4. How many groups can we make of negative 4? Well, we can make one, we can make two groups. Let's start then with negative 8 divided by positive 4. Negative 8 divided Okay, so we're at negative 8 divided by positive 4. So if I were to split this into four groups, each group would have negative 2. Our problem comes in when we have 8 divided by negative 4. I can't take a positive 8 and then divide it into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can't take a positive 8 and divide it into a negative 4 groups. That doesn't make sense. Um, so we have to rely on the multiplication aspect of this same problem because that's kind of this is the only part where this model almost falls apart. Um, so what times negative 4 gives me positive 8? So what we need to do is put in here some items so that we can remove groups of negative 4. So how many groups of negative 4 do we have to remove so that we end up with 8? So I just simply added in um, a bunch of different groups here of, of negative, uh, a 0. So now I can remove one group of negative 4, and I can remove a second group of negative 4. So I removed two groups. So it's negative 2 times negative 4 leaves me with positive 8. So turning it into a multiplication problem helps us simplify this particular problem. All in all, we have discovered these patterns when dividing with negative numbers. That a negative divided by a negative is a positive, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, and a positive divided by a negative is a negative. Show 10 divided by negative 2 on a number line. We turn it into multiplication. So 10 is how many times a length of 2 in the negative direction to get positive 10? Well, we know that um, if we go negative 5 lengths of 2, we would get to negative 10. However, we need to think of that as the opposite. So going the opposite would bring us to a positive 10, and we would need then five groups of two to get to a positive 10. So that would be negative five helped us do the opposite of what we were thinking.
For each observation,